Hi, this is Scoggett, and uh, it's time for story time with Scoggett. And uh, this story is entitled uh, Washboard, Washboard Blues. Uh, go ahead and like I'm doing every uh, story time, I got my Lone Star beer here. I'm going to go ahead and crack it open. Take my glass and pour it up. And then we'll start the story. Gotta have a Lone Star to do a story here. This one's called Washboard Blues. Back when I was growing up in the 1960s, we used to have uh, clothesline poles out. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with them. If you weren't around in the 60s, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Those who are, they will. Uh, it was a, a galvanized uh, pole what was in a, a T formation. And you had one on one side and down on the other side of the yard, you had on, this was in the backyard, not the front, uh, you had another one uh, of the same uh, thing. It was galvanized uh, pipe, and then it was like, you know, in a T. And you had a, a boat what went in with uh, uh, screws. They were like little eye bolts, and you'd run a clothesline from one side to the other. And there's usually about three of them to uh, uh, one of those uh, uh, poles. And that's where you'd hang your clothes. Like, uh, instead of uh, putting them in a dryer like everybody does nowadays, uh, used to hang them out on, on the clothesline. And you had like clothesline uh, deal and you had the clothespins. And I remember, uh, my grandmother washing our clothes, which we didn't have a washer and dryer, and grandma would have a wash tub, like a big wash tub. Also, sometimes it would uh, double as a bathtub. Uh, but it was a big old wash tub where she'd put soap and water, and then she'd have this uh, scrub board, wash board. And the wash board was, uh, had wood to it, and had like two legs on it and it had like little little grooves what went down like this and grandma would get down there like like where the washboard was and would be like washing the clothes like getting the dirt out of them and it would be like going in the uh the water of the the wash tub and she'd be doing it with the washboard and then after she got through uh uh, doing that, should uh, wring them out by hand, then take take them out and put them on on the clothesline. So uh, the washboard. Uh, oh, another funny story. I'll, I'll go ahead and tell when me and my brother, uh, which has since passed away, sadly, uh, we used to get out there and when when uh, my grandmother would hang the the clothes and the sheets and everything, bed sheet, we'd run in and out of the uh, the clothes uh, as it was drying. And we thought that was fun because it was like, you know, you'd run in and out of it. And uh, when Grandma caught us, of course, uh, she took a switch to us, but uh, that's a different story. But anyway, uh, the washboard is, is the star player today. Uh, it also doubled as a musical instrument. Remember back in the uh, 1960s, I was just a little boy then, and uh, my uncle uh, Leroy had a a guitar. Uh, the neighbor down the street he he picked the banjo a little bit. Then there was another guy I don't know who he was. He he played the harmonica, and this other guy he's like on the washboard. Well, on Saturday night they'd get together and uh, buy a. Uh, past blue ribbon beer 
I know it was passed for a ribbon because I, I recognized the emblem, which hasn't changed over the years. And they'd go down and buy a couple of six packs of Pat Blue Ribbon. And uh, back then, of course, the uh, beer was in a, a tin can. They'd get a church key, what we call a church key, it's an opener. And they would open it you know, on one side and open it on the other. And they'd sit there and, and uh, drink the Pat Blue Ribbon and play music uh, out on uh, either the front porch or sometimes inside, it's all according. Uh, but they'd all get together on Saturday and, and play the music and live, uh, play that uh, hillbilly, hillbilly music uh, with a kind of added southern twang to it, I remember. And uh, it sounded pretty good. I mean, it was like I was a little kid back then and uh, to me it was like pretty, pretty decent. And I remember uh, the neighbors would all get together and and uh, come over from down the block, and some of them would like dance on the front lawn, and and uh, us kids be running around and and having a good time, and uh, just a pleasant memory. Uh, you don't see that no more, and it's just a, a shame that you know things have changed like that. And and I remember them days, and it's just good good memories there. I'm, I'm glad I was, uh, was there for uh, that and, and experience those memories because they're gone. They're long gone. Heck, now you can't even get a kid out of his uh, uh, room. Uh, he's got to be sitting there playing with the electronic games. But we didn't have any electronic games back then. And we would uh, just uh, have fun with well, I remember sitting sitting there and uh, on the porch and uh, sitting there listening to the music and it, it was so refreshing and and uh, uh, they'd be sitting there just uh, nobody was getting mad at nobody and they'd just go over song over song over song over song over song. Uh, they play uh, uh, just a variety of stuff uh, anywhere from uh, the uh, old Johnny Cash to. Uh, uh, Hank Williams to I remember uh, my uncle he would uh, even yodel a little bit I mean and my my uncle was uh, another song what he did really well is uh, Hank Snow's uh, the auctioneer I mean my my uncle would do just like an auctioneer he would, he would be like just singing that song they'd be picking in everything and it would be like uh, the ladies in there and they would be like uh, inside or they might some of them be sitting outside and they'd be doing their own thing and it was just a uh, uh, pleasant Saturdays I mean uh, it was just uh, don't don't find that no more and that's it's a shame that those days are gone but uh, I have memories of it so that's all what I need and it just uh, uh, had really good times back then thought I'd share this with you and uh, uh, if you're not familiar with the wash board, uh, look it up on the internet. Uh, the old wash board and wash tubs. And you'll see what I'm talking about. And, uh, my grandmother used one because uh, we didn't take our uh, laundry to get washed. And uh, she did right there. And uh, sometimes it was a challenge because me and my brother could mess up some uh, 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 blue jeans. But anyway... Uh, blue jeans had the patches in them like all over because we didn't throw them away whenever they got a hole We put a patch there and uh, we went to school like that and everything, but that's a different story But just want to share this with you this uh, experience of my life and and uh, Just uh, was thinking about this just the other day and uh, what brought it to mind was I was watching a movie called uh, the window uh on T TCM, uh, Turner Classic Movies, and it was in the morning, and me and my wife was sitting there watching it, and I saw the lady hanging the clothes on the line, and, and uh, they were in New, New York City. They didn't have, like, a yard or nothing. But I, I thought, you know, that'd be a pretty decent uh, story to share of my experience uh, with the clothes lines and everything, the wash boards and wash tubs. But anyway... It's all good. This is Scoggett, uh, 
hope you liked the story. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, and uh, appreciate all you viewers and subscribers out there. And y'all take care.